It's Chris Duncan here. On this video, uh, you're going to see a live demonstration uh, from our Magnetic Mind event. Now, our Magnetic Mind event, we do four times a year, and we're teaching people how to remove their limitations and create a magnetic mind. This demonstration is about structure. I bring out three people uh, from the audience. There's about 500 or so that were uh, on the training. I brought three people out, and I worked inside of showing them how their structure creates reality. See, there are always two different structures you can be in. You can be in a problem solving, uh, uh, focus on circumstance structure, uh, reactive structure that just leads to conflict and chaos, or you can be in a creative structure. When, I, when we show you this, uh, I want you to watch the shift that takes place with Trudy. She has an absolutely amazing shift. You're also going to meet Dean. Now, Dean is a, is a longtime client. He's actually the gentleman who returned uh, his eyesight using this work as well. And what you'll see is that structure creates. It's not you. It's not personal. Now, there's, there's nothing to buy on this session, so sit back and watch it. If you're interested in learning more about being certified in this work or any of the work that we do, there are some links below that you can get more information. So sit back and enjoy this and we'll cut right to the live event. So I'm going to go through the exercise with uh, with these three. And what what it's very important uh, just to sit back and watch the process. OK, many people ignore me uh, when I say, please just watch me take others through because they think, well, why would I just watch others? There's aspects of you that find it very useful to just see and understand the full process of what's going to happen so that you can truly get it. And that will then allow you to have an even better session. And of course, you're a creator. If you choose to ignore me, you can. But I promise you'll be better off um, watching, the, watching the process. Okay. And, and then you'll be able to go through it yourself too. Okay. So I, I, I really do mean it. You'll get more out of it. And of course, you're all going to be able to go through uh, this exercise. This is the pinnacle of today. The purpose of this exercise is for people to witness and understand the difference between creating and, and problem solving. Okay, so uh, Steph, Dean, and uh, Trudy, um, Stephanie, Dean, and Trudy, you guys are all going to need to think up a creation that's not working well. Okay. Uh, a stuck creation, something that's not working well. And I'll just give them a moment to do that while, while I uh, just explain to the rest of you how we're going to go through this. We're going to uncover the truth of the structure so that you will see the reason why they are unable to create success in that area of life by unpacking or uncovering it so that we can absolutely see the reason. What you will notice by the end of this exercise, you will notice exactly why they haven't been able to create and you'll understand what I mean when I say structure has integrity. So uh, Steph, Dean and uh, Trudy, I'm gonna have you all uh, out here and I'll put you all so you can have your beautiful videos on and everything else. All right. So, Dean, how are you, mate? I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bursting out of my skin at the moment. It's just everything I'm manifesting just falling at my feet. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, Steph, uh, Trudy, were you able to get your videos going? Um, there I'm she not is. There we go. Oh, I could always put the background, but you're behind me again. <laughs> all right, good. We're all here. Hey, Stephanie, nice to meet you. Probably. Nice to meet and you. Hey, Trudy. So we've got Stephanie, you sounds like a Northern American accent. We're about to you. I'm in Ontario, Canada, Northern Ontario. So I don't know if you know where Toronto is, but I'm about four hours north. Cold. That's all I know about four it's hours. It's hot north. right now. It's hot. Really? What's hot to you? <laughs> uh, last week, it was 38 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that, that is, is in Fahrenheit, but it was hot. That is really hot. All right, cool. So we've got Northern Ontario. Trudy, whereabouts are you? Um, I'm in Mildura, Victoria, Australia. Oh, good. You're, you're in, uh, are you out of lockdown in Mildura or are you, are you guys Sorry? in lockdown? Are you in lockdown oh, down lockdown there? I'm in lockdown again at the moment. Yeah. Good, good time to be. Okay. <laughs> 
crazy. Good time for a magnetic mind event. Okay. Um, and obviously, I know Dean's just across the border here in Australia, too. So we've got two, two Australians and a Canadian. All right. That sounds, that sounds like a good mix. Two Australians, a Canadian, and a, a Kiwi walk into a bar. No, I'm just I get <laughs> trouble. Uh, trouble. We get trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. Okay. So um, the, the first question, and uh, 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 if we could have some help with some notes from some amazing people here. Um, who's, who's three coaches that can help me with, um, some, some notes. Can you just type in a, type in a me who can do it? I can see some, uh, Jesse, Jesse, Sujata and Kevin. Uh, cool. So Jesse, can you take notes for, um, Steph's answers? Sujata, could you take notes for, uh, Trudy's answers? And Kevin, can you take notes for Dean's answers? Uh, does that sound good? You guys happy to do that? Just do it in the chat box um, so that we, we've got a little bit of a record. Are you, are you happy to do that? Thanks, 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 thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, so Stephanie, what's a stuck creation? What is something that is stuck for you? Um, so I'm fairly new at this whole magnetic minds thing. I just got to get out of school. And so for me, uh, the main reason why I came connected to this was to live my true nature and purpose. Nice. So, so what you're trying to achieve, um, living your true nature and purpose. So, so how is it stuck? Um, okay. I've changed jobs about a hundred times in my young career. I have not found anything that has been meaningful to me. I have felt stuck in every sense of the word when it comes to the career choices I've made. I've gone back to school twice. Uh, like you, I've taken a number of certification courses, not necessarily to fix myself, but to try to understand myself. I've taken astrology, I've studied numerology, like I've tried to figure this out. Got it. So you're trying to find your true nature and purpose and you, you're changing heaps and loads and loads of jobs and doing loads of certifications uh, and you're searching, searching, searching. Cool, yeah. kind of good stuff. Good, thank you. This can be a great example, thank you. Uh, Trudy, what is a stuck creation that you have? Um, I'm an artist and I'd like to have a living as an artist, but I do so much work and get to work, get a certain body and then I've never done anything about marketing. Um, okay. And yeah, I don't have the confidence in myself. Okay, so uh, you would like to be a paid artist mm. and um, it's stuck because uh, you don't have enough um uh, marketing and confidence. Yeah, I haven't done anything about marketing in it, and I'll, I'll come up with a project and I'll do the 95%. Oh, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this. All right, and got it. I've, I've got to the stage, I'm going to, you know, my starting is going to be an audio um, studio experience because I've just got that much stuff that I've, oh, I'm going to do pastels, oh, I'm going to do charcoal, I'm going to do origami, and then I change. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, so. So you're avoiding the marketing, so avoiding what you need to do. And mm -hmm. uh, um, and yeah, cool, I got it, I got it. That's fantastic. Dean, uh, good to see you, mate. Uh, and you, brother. So, <laughs> you still blow me away, bro. Still blows me away. Oh, That's man, it. you've changed my life in so many fucking ways. I just, so much gratitude for you, brother. I love you, man. So, no, just so, so many things. No, I've I've had a book in my mind for the last six yep. or seven months, and I keep procrastinating about it, trying to Got work it. out a title and the theme, and okay, and I just keep putting it off. Okay, good. So you've got a book and you'd like to create it, but you keep putting it off. Good. So, so yeah. awesome stuff. Yeah. Well done, um, Steph, um, Dean, and Trudy. So. Question number one done. Uh, you, you know, you said this is what I'd like to create, and and here's why it's stuck. Okay, so so that's awesome. So uh, we'll go on to question uh, number two. We'll go into question number two. So so Stephanie, what what do you think about this uh, stuck creation? Trying to find your true nature and purpose. Uh, you know, changing all these jobs, everything. So what do you, when you when you think of when when we talk about it, what do you think about it? I'm not sure. <laughs> what, what do I think about being stuck? Yep. What do you think about being stuck? And what do you think about the creation of um, having your true nature and purpose? 
what I think about be, it's well, I mean, I guess in part it feels with just thinking about how frustrated I am with with not being able to achieve what it is I'm trying to accomplish, right? Um, being stuck to me feels halted. I feel like I deserve better. And, you know, I, I have a lot of self-worth within myself that I, I don't doubt my ability. I don't doubt my capacity. It's, well, actually, no, I do doubt my capacity a little bit. And I guess that will be a little bit later on. But I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I think I can do it, but I, I don't understand why I can't. Good. So that's the big thing. So I think I think I can do it, but I don't understand why. Uh, I need to understand it. Okay, good. Uh, awesome. Uh, well done. Good. Trudy, what do you think about being stuck with uh, becoming a high paid or, or a paid artist? Well paid. Um, one of the things I remember um, from childhood is that casually making a comment, um, you don't make money as an artist. And I think that's sort of still resonating that oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna support myself so why bother so I think um why bother I can't yeah. it won't happen so why bother yeah I, I, it, yeah you can't make a living in artist so who do I think I am so yeah so bother it can't happen nice mm. who do I think I am got it Dean, what do you think about the book that not uh, getting written? I know the premise of the book. Putting the words down in a way that as I teach things simply. I would like to be able to more be more eloquent in the way that the that, that it reads. I think do you I think my is crap. Yep. Yeah, what else? And it's just putting it together in the way so I can make the biggest impact with the book. So I think I think I think I need to be be perfect. Yeah. Hey? That's always been me. Yeah, got it. Yeah, but, got it. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Um, love it. So Stephanie, when you think about uh, this uh, true nature and purpose being being stuck, how does it feel? I know you said frustrating before. How does it feel? It feels frustrating. It feels struggle. It feels disappointing because when I feel like I'm making headway, that oscillating piece comes back and it feels like I'm taking one or two steps forward and then I end up going backwards a little bit. When I think I finally found it, mm, nope, not so much, right? So I struggle with that a lot. So that's how I feel about that. It feels like it's naughty to have it. You just like feels like I out. don't deserve it. And it's, there you go. Feels like I don't deserve it and I'm frustrated. Logically, I, I know I do. It. That's the weird part, right? That's it. <laughs> yeah, we know. We know, don't worry. We all know how silly <laughs> our unconscious patterns are. It's never logic, is it? It's never logic. So Trudy, when you think about, you know, being stuck, not being able to be paid as an artist, how does it make you feel? Um, I, th I think you're a bit sad about it before. Yeah, um, very emotional. Um, I'm unemployed at the moment and I don't really want to do an average Monday to Friday, average nine to five for average wage and average not being happy. I deserve to be happy. I'm a talented artist. I've just got to put it together. Yeah. And it, yeah so it how do you so feel? So how does Heart it make broken. you feel? Heartbroken. 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 Love yeah. you. Heartbroken. Thanks for acknowledging it. You're allowed to have a human experience of heartbroken, but it's not a not a great one. Yeah. Uh, Dean, uh, how do you feel when you think about this uh, this book not being I know written? It's in, I know it's in me. Mm -hmm. And when I'm when I'm sort of thinking about the book when I'm in meditation I can see the book in front of me but I can't see the words coming together in a way that I can make enough impact so I how do you frustrated. feel I get feel frustrated with myself that I can't uh, um, what's the word um, concretize it in a way that it's 
of significance. Okay. So how do you feel? So you feel frustrated? You feel like you yeah, I get pissed off confused with confused or unclear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. You're doing great and good stuff, audience. I see you all being super engaged with this. Uh, it's good. All right. So uh, next, next question is a three-part question. Okay. And it says definition or meaning of. Okay. So the way we answer this is in this structure, in this creation, Stephanie, how do you define yourself? So in the creation of creating a true nature and purpose, and not being able to find it, how do you define yourself? Trick question. I define myself as... Uh, incapable. And that means... That I can't do it. Yep, that's right. That's right. You're doing that's it. How do you define others? I define others as lucky. Lucky. <laughs> Fortunate. Courageous. Brave. Funny thing is, is I can see it in others, but I just have a hard time seeing it in myself. Yeah. And I define the world as in this structure. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say difficult, but difficult. Yep. Difficult, but I do see other people living their true nature and purpose. And so I also see the world as hopeful in that sense, right? Because if other people can do it, then that also means that I can. So it's really, you know, you define yourself as someone who's, who can't have it. And there's something wrong with you because everyone else can have it. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my son wants to give me a hug. He's That's right. Feeling... I'll put you on mute. <laughs> hugs, hugs are allowed. I'll mute you for a <laughs> second. Hugs are always allowed. How old is he? Uh, he's 12 and he has an ear infection. He just had his first COVID vaccination. So he's feeling a whole lot of awesomeness right now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad he got a hug. That's good. Okay. Good. Good. So that's that's good. So so you really define yourself you know, in this, in this idea that it's others are allowed it, but for some reason you can't have it. There's something that's not, you know, this it's easy for others, but you can't have it. And it's something you got to chase. It's quite a, quite a thing. Okay. If, yeah. Yep. That's right. Okay, cool. it, yeah. um, awesome. Awesome. Okay. Trudy. So in this structure of wanting to be a paid artist, um, you know, current reality, heartbroken and, and, you know, not doing what you need to do sort of thing. How do you define yourself? I define myself as not good enough. Yep. And that not means capable. not capable. Um, yeah. Um, not perfect. <laughs> yeah. How do you define others? I define others as they've got it together when I haven't. They've got it together. And uh, and I have it. They've got it together and I have it. And the world as well up to recently, I was pretty sure it was about to get me. So <laughs> yeah. I Sorry, I missed that. Me. Sorry, I missed I, that. What was that? Up to up to recently, I was pretty sure the world was out to get me. The world um, is out to get me. Mm. Yeah. So it's um yeah, not an easy place. It's not an easy place. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dean, uh, how do you define yourself in this stuck structure of creating this book? Not capable. And that means? The first thing that came into my mind. I'm not capable, just insignificant. I define More others as others are. Because they can spell. <laughs> Fair enough. And the world is confused and needs your help, yeah. eh? Yeah. Good. Okay, good stuff. You guys are doing great. So number five says assumption. Okay, so so Stephanie. 
you're living your true nature, you want to live your true nature and purpose, you're stuck, you know, you've tried lots of jobs, you feel not capable, frustrated. Easy for others, they can have it, you can't. They're lucky, the world is difficult. Mm -hmm. What are you assuming? What are you assuming? So, based on all this, I'm assuming. I want to be an expert, I take me serious. And I, and I think that that's where my challenges are, which is probably why I've taken all these certification courses and gone to school, you know, twice and, you know, I've changed jobs so many times, you know, I've come to understand that in changing jobs has been valuable because I've developed transferable skills that I can relate anywhere. And I know in logically, I have the skills to do this, but deep down, I feel like people will not take me seriously because I'm not an expert. I don't have a PhD. So I don't have... What you're assuming is you must be something other than yourself. Sure, yeah. You're also assuming that your true nature and purpose is going to reside in a vocation or occupation. Yeah, that is a big assumption, yeah. yeah. So when you do the assumption with yourself and others, you need to read between the lines. You see how I read between the lines there? Do you want me to put you on mute if you've got more hugs coming? No, I'm good. My husband's just oh, walking yeah. by. We're good. <laughs> husband needs hugs too? <laughs> Always. <laughs> That's cool. mm -hmm. So you see that assumption, big assumption, hey, lots of assumptions uh, that I need to be something else other than myself uh, to, uh, to find my true nature and purpose and, and, uh, and that it's going to reside in an occupation. And when you, when you say it like that, it's like, oh my God, come on, really? Yeah, so well, logically. Silly. Yeah. However, at three years old, you looked at mom or dad, and you probably went, "Okay, so I'm making a decision here that that's where my." So it's it's okay because we're we're you we're we're living out of structures and assumptions that are babies. Babies made them when we were children. We made them a long time ago, so they they do not make sense to adults. Yeah, it's fine. So uh, good stuff. Okay, good. Is everyone learning something out there? I hope so. So, so Trudy, um, where's, where's Trudy's uh, little debrief? So you want to be a paid artist, um, you know, you start no marketing, lack of confidence, you know, all these things feel heartbroken, not good enough, not capable. Others have it together and the world is out to get to you. It's not an easy place, right? So what, what are you assuming? Um, yeah, I'm assuming I'm not good enough and, and not perfect. Um, that's why I keep changing between my mediums. Oh, this, yeah, I can do something else better or I get bored. Supposed to be bored, which is why I change. So, yeah. So, I love you. You're assuming it's about you. You're assuming it's about you. But Maybe getting paid. Three weeks. <laughs> Maybe oh, no, I love weeks. You're doing great. I love you. I love you. No, 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 um, no stress. Hey, no stress. Yeah. You're doing awesome. And thanks for being, um, putting your hand up to, to be here and be in front of the audience and stuff. And there's no judgment. I'm just letting, I'm just letting you know with love, what, what you're assuming is, mm -hmm. is you're assuming it's about you. You're saying it's about me, but actually creating that is just about actions. Mm -hmm. So when I read between the lines for you, everything's about is about something about you, assuming it's about you. Great to take the next step, or the first step, really. Exactly, exactly. So when I listen and hear everything, you know, it's really, you just haven't done that. You haven't done the marketing. You know what you need to do and you just should do it, but you're assuming it's, you've got all these other uh, assumptions that, uh, that it's so, you're also assuming it's very difficult and that's a, and assuming that it's nearly impossible. Like there's nearly an assumption there, like this is actually an impossibility. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, I know the basics of it because um, when I was studying at art school, um, you know, we did business studies. And so, you know, I've got the basics and things like that. So I know what I have to do and, and know how to produce, you know, keep work to go in the production line and to, to do, maximize my time and things like that. But, don't want to implement it, don't have the confidence. 
you're still assuming it's about you and I love you. By the end of this weekend, you won't. Okay, you're doing great. So no, you're perfect. There's nothing wrong. You're just having a great human experience, but we can shift that structure. But good stuff. So I'll let you sit with that for a second. Dino, uh, what are you assuming? What are you assuming? This is interesting because I'm getting these words in my head. Just go and write the book right now. Just step off the call and go and write the book. Well, that's that's because you're a certified coach now, and that's the right answer. <laughs> um, but uh, but but that's that's good. So staying back in my demo, <laughs> what we what were you assuming yes, before you, you went through the rest of the answers? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, my mind just came. Oh yeah, fuck it, just go and do it. <laughs> Nice. Well, I, well, when I was listening to everything, the assumption was, uh, you know, you you got to be some some perfect, you know, writer. And the assumption is that I must be a I must be a polished writer. Must go and, I, yeah, I must go and do a course and how to how to write the book. Yeah, which means uh, I'm not able to. I'm assuming I'm not able just to do it the way I am. Yeah. That's you know, I'm not able just to do it. The, the assumption is that, oh, well, I've got to become better at it. I've got to go over here before I can go here. It's like I've got to go yeah. train in it to do it rather than just trusting your natural ability. It's good. Okay, yeah, good stuff. Because you, you know that I used to think this stuff was a load of crap. <laughs> I know. And then but, and then you regained your eyesight. <laughs> People anymore. don't believe me, Dean, when I say he'd never done any personal development before, that he listened and no, followed. And no, now not not one thing. Not yeah, one yeah. thing. I love you, man. All right, so um, Stephanie, how do you how do you deal with that assumption? So the assumption is really that uh, you know it's about your vocation and that it's outside of you. So how do you deal with that assumption? I educate myself. I learn as much as I possibly can. I read tons and tons and tons of books and learn about a ton and ton and ton of things. I love it's it. This sort of vicious that. cycle. I hear you. And so whenever we ask the question, how do you deal with the assumption, we can see where, where someone's placing the power, okay? And so the power is placed uh, in, in uh, you know, learning and outside of you. So brilliant. Good answer. Uh, Trudy, uh, so you have this assumption like it's all about you and, and everything else and, and that it's really impossible. So how do you deal with it? Um, as I said before, changing mediums, going from drawing to paper folding, and um, spending a lot you, of time and money looking for the more supplies. You avoid doing what you need to do. Yeah. You avoid just going into it. You said it in the very first question, hey, you avoid it. So you, you place the power, uh, you know, outside of you. And so you deal with it by just avoiding it. You say, that looks scary. I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, that's not, it's not even going to bloody work. Why bother? Mm. Yeah. Uh, so Dean, same with you, the, how do you deal with it? You procrastinate, what else? Yeah, well, as I've been, as I said, I've been putting it off for ages, but I just need to step into it and start doing it and believe yeah. in myself. It doesn't matter whether I spell it wrong because there's always proofreaders and um, people to guide me and things that... Um, I just have to believe in myself that I could that it's I can just start doing it. Yep. So you you deal with it by uh, well you've, you've you said you've been procrastinating so you you're another avoider. You're yep. an avoider. Stephanie's an educator. Dean's a contemplate avoid it, and and Trudy is a is a, a an avoider in her structure. Fair enough. I call myself a lifelong student feels that way anyway nice nothing wrong with that maybe it is your true nature and purpose okay so uh out of <laughs> she's like no it ain't okay so so number seven okay is stephanie do you really believe what you're telling yourself do you really truly believe that your true nature and purpose is outside of yourself and that you've got to go and study and study and study and that your true nature and purpose is going to be some sort of vocation occupation job do you like you really do you really think that's your truest nature and purpose what what i'm thinking about my my true nature and purpose 
I want you to feel into it and feel it at your deepest core. Do you really believe that uh, that your true nature and purpose resides in you educating and learning about something outside of yourself and that it's about work? I do believe that what I'm learning about is in my true nature and purpose. My problem is that I feel like I don't know enough of it. And so my intuition is telling me just start writing your program, just do it. Right. And, and every time I meditate, it's the same damn message I'm getting. Um, but so how- let, me, let me just sit you in this for a second. Okay. I okay. want you to feel this. Do you truly believe that you're not capable to live your true nature and purpose? That it's no. so frustrating. Yeah, good. No, I don't. I don't truly believe good. that. I don't. Sorry, okay. I misunderstood. No, that's all right. It's all right. Sometimes we need to ask it in a different way. Yeah. Um, that's all right. And you're allowed to say you're allowed to say yes, you do believe it. It's not a trick question. No, no, and but I don't. I don't believe that yeah. I, I'm I'm the only things that's limiting me is my fear of not being capable. And I know that that's not logical. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't, you don't need to give us a story just yet. Okay. You, you just hold on to that story, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I get, I get carried away. <laughs> no, it's okay. Everyone has a narrative. We always, One thing that all humans want to do is we want to have a reason why. We want to have a story or a reason. And here's the reason. Because by explaining away a reason, it reduces the true tension to go and create. Because now okay. we've got a reason. Softens it a bit. And so I love you. Okay, so Trudy, uh, do you really, really, really believe that you do not have um, the ability to be a paid artist? That it's that uh, that you don't that yeah that that others can have it and you can't. Do you, do you really believe that? No. no. Dean, oh Dean's gonna Dean. Do you really believe that? Uh, yeah, uh, that you can't write this book. Okay, good, good, good. Most people don't actually believe what they're telling themselves. It's just the thing we've been telling ourselves. Even the narrative that Stephanie was about to launch into, she doesn't actually believe that fear is the thing that's stopping her, blah, 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 blah. It's not, she doesn't actually believe it. It's just a thing we use to soften how we feel about something. So Stephanie, all of this assumption and then how you deal with it, uh, how you deal with the assumption of all this learning, what is the end result of believing all of this and, and this? How do, how do, if you stay in this structure, how does it end? Same as it is now. Nothing changes. Just keep on learning and, and chasing and learning. Because it's yeah. been the last 25, 30 years of my life. <laughs> Got it. So this is, a, this is a structure you've played a lot. So you know that you, you've, you've played this record. Hey, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. You know exactly where it's going to go. Trudy, um, what's the end result of your current structure? Because by the way, you're allowed to, you're absolutely allowed to stay in any structures that you like. So what is the end result of the structure of thinking it's not for you, it's for everyone else and, and everything else? What's the end result of and not doing the marketing? Instead of making money, I'm just spending money on more materials. And, and what will that and, and what will happen? What will be the end result of doing that? My house is going to be overrun with materials and half-finished pieces of artwork. And what would be the end result of that? I wouldn't be satisfied, I wouldn't be happy, and I won't make a living from it. So you won't get it. Good. That's where you end up. Uh, Dean staying in procrastination and, and, you know, thinking that you need to get your spelling right and everything else. What is the end result of staying in that structure? Book could never get written. Got it. Okay. So we can all see that everyone here is in a structure and this structure is going to have integrity. And as Stephanie said very clearly, this is a structure she's been replaying for a very, very long time. So, she, so that, and that's fine. Sounds like Trudy's is, is long as well. And Dean sounds like it's a relatively new one. Uh, which is which is fine. So, Stephanie, what is something that you really love to do, completely unrelated to anything we've been talking about? What is something that you really, 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 really love? I really, 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 really love <laughs> going to camp, um, being out in nature, 
uh, that's that's something that I cannot live without. I have three acres of bush behind me where I can wow. walk the trails, pick blueberries, what have you. Um, at camp, it's just we have a beautiful beach. Uh, water grounds me. So does gardening, which I also love doing. So absolutely, those are the things I love, love doing. So close your eyes for a second and feel into that. Close your eyes. Feel into going out into nature, uh, camping, uh, picking berries, being and just just feel into that. When you think about that, where's your focus? My soul. Where's yet it? Yeah, where's where am I focused? I want you to notice when you think about going camping or going out into nature or gardening, what are you focused on? Just joy, happiness just calm I enjoy being grounded now rejuvenation when you think about that creation what's obvious about how you're creating when you just create something you love and that's easy what's obvious about where you focus how you do what what's obvious I just love it. It's fun. Yes. It's easy. Yes. Should I it's say easy. more? <laughs> okay, good. No, no, you're doing great. So open your eyes. So open your eyes, come back. So now take the lesson of what's obvious when you're a creator and now apply those lessons to the stuck creation. And what is obvious now about this other creation? I was meant to help people. I know that. And it brings me joy. It empowers me. It empowers the people that I help. Um, I love putting programs together that teaches women hold in up, particular. Come back. So okay. just come back. This, this is really good. So remember how you are when you're just going to go out camping. Mm -hmm. Think about how you are when you go camping, because that's when you're being a creator. Okay. 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 So what do you do? So if you were to go camping right now, what would you do? Where would you focus? How would you be? Okay. You got it. Now apply that thinking to the creation of your true nature and purpose. What is obvious about what you need to, how you need to be? I just have to trust my intuition. And, and, do if you, it. and if you do that, how does um, the creation of your true nature and purpose feel? Feels great. Feels easy. Now you're the same woman we just interviewed, right? Like about this. <laughs> I'm the same woman. I'm just, I was just checking that you didn't trade places. <laughs> All right. So, so hold that thought because I'm just going to go around the others and I'll come back. But I would like you just to jot down what is obvious to you when you're creating something you love? Because I'll bring the points back home. Trudy, uh, is, there, is there something else you, you love other than, than artwork, doing art? Um, my puppy dog. Your puppy oh, dog, okay. Seven and a half, so she's not really a puppy. But <laughs> no, not for a long time. So what do you love doing with your pup? Um, just having cuddles with her and and playing um and occasionally we get on a walk not as many as we should that's my bad um but yeah, yeah. just just the um the love between us nice what else do you love what else do you just love to do for no reason that you just love it um, you're right yeah work yeah yeah i'll keep doing yeah. that anyway if i'm not selling it so yeah definitely yeah so artwork. so yeah so cl close your eyes and i just want you to go into a moment where you're just creating art because you love it mm -hmm. there you go and just how do you feel when you're creating, when you're just going to create art with, with no other thought, you're just creating, how does that feel? Where's your focus? What's it like? Um, it's, it's calming. It's also like a, a meditation sort of thing. And it's also yeah. exciting. Um, yeah. Watching things being created. Yeah. And how is it? Like really, how is it just creating that? And um, notice how you are. 
it just seems amazing sometimes to step back and see you get really involved in a piece of work and then you step back in the big picture and actually see how it's coming together it's it's quite amazing so i want you to take that feeling and apply it to the creation of getting paid what's obvious about what you need to do take action stop stop hiding so stay in the end result of how you are when you just create, because art, creating art is scary for 95% of the people that are on this call, but for you, it's easy. You can just create it. So take that feeling of just being in the end result. Notice when, you, notice when you're creating art, you're just thinking about doing it. You're in it and it feels good. Just notice how you are. Take those learnings and now apply that to business. As soon as I think about the business, my stomach just goes butterflies, like I'm going to panic. Yeah, 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 because you're, you're shifting. So take these lessons, take these lessons and, and then take the exact same way that you create. So, so stay there, you're doing great. If you were to uh, teach me your creation process, what's the first thing that you do when you're creating beautiful art? What do you do? Um, know what I'm creating. Good, so now apply that first step to business. I need to put a price on my artwork. Good. Now come back to creating the artwork. Once you know what you're creating, what's the second thing that you do? Um, gather all the materials. Great. So now apply that to business. Gather the materials. Um, document my work and have it all valued. So um, if I'm particularly if I'm selling it on the net, that it's all just there with a description, ready to sell. Beautiful. Now go back to the art, creating art. Feel it again. You've got the end result. You gather the materials. What's next? Doing the work. And now apply that to the business. Better take action. How does it feel? <laughs> it's a bit scary. <laughs> you, can open your, scary. you can open your eyes and come back because your smile doesn't look that scared, my friend. <laughs> So I love you. You're not broken. You have a creative process. So does Stephanie. So does Dean. So does everyone on this call. You just got to use your creative process in the place where you're currently stuck. It's not about you. It's the structure you're in. Because going camping and gardening and all those things aren't trivial creations, my friends. Then there's many steps in those and there's scary things in the woods in Canada. I'm just saying, and Trudy, mm -hmm. there's scary things. I'm not, I'm not volunteering for going camping unless you're there with me, Stephanie. Trudy, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a I'd, lot going on when you're creating. I'd be more uh, worried about the outhouse, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come to Australia and um, stay away from, from those things. So, so Dean, we're not going to leave. So Dean, uh, close your eyes, brother, and, uh, and tune into what is it that you love to create? I love to create meditations. And when and you're creating you those, how do you feel? I feel empowered and it makes me really happy. I don't even, I don't even have to write them down. I just, I'm in flow when I'm doing it. It just flows out of me like water. Just, nice. It makes me feel really happy when I've been going up into the forest and recording the sounds of the forest just before dawn. And it's, um, and I've been putting music over it that I've gotten from Audio Jungle and the layering the things, I just the whole creative process just makes me really happy. I feel like a little boy again, just playing with its coloured pencils and just, I don't know, it just, it just lights my fire. It just, I just love it. So now take that same creation and apply it to the book. And how does it feel? What's it's obvious? It's obvious that I just need to approach the book from innocence. Love you, man. Write it as a, as a child. And then it'll, you know, and it'll, as a child, because we're and an innocent child, just look at everything in its perfection. Like the book will just flow. The book Perfect. will just flow when I approach it from that aspect. 
All right. So review, recap. Stephanie, Trudy, and Dean, you're amazing. You're the same people you were 30 minutes ago. Stuck. <laughs> Trudy's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> What's going on for you, Trudy? Is it was that pretty massive? Uh, um, yeah, my whole emotional mood sort of shifted to being overwhelmed to, to not being overwhelmed really, to having some confidence to start. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, so that's that's awesome. Stephanie, have you got family uh, that need to say hi? You, you're welcome to. You're good. We're okay. good. Yeah, yeah. Family is important to us here. So that's fine. So so here's so that's all. Awesome. You're actually the same people you were, even though you're, you're that's been a huge shift for you, Trudy. You're the same because you weren't broken then. You're not broken now. Those creations <laughs> were stuck uh, by the way that you were orientating into that creation every uh so steph i'll just put you on mute so that anyone who's there can be as noisy as that oh no they, they they're good, good. They can, yeah. they're good okay just check in um I was gonna say, is is it wasn't you can everyone in the audience give me a yes if you can see it wasn't them when you were stuck okay you were making it about you I'm not this. I'm not good enough. I've got to be better at spelling. I got to find this. I got to get educated. I got to da 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 da. All this stuff is all about me, me, me. Fix me, fix me, fix me. Can everyone on the call, 400 of you, give me the thumbs up, yes, or or type in a yes if you truly watched each of the three here in a stuck creation? We make it about ourselves and what we have to be in order for the creation to exist when structural, they shift not personal it's structural yeah that's right when we shifted them into something they're happy to create they never said it was about them stephanie says well i just see myself it's just easy i'm out there you know with massive grizzly bears <laughs> freezing cold that's all i'm thinking i'm just teasing but like i'm just out there i've got these acres i'm getting berries i'm going gardening i'm, do I'm just doing it you see, she's focused on just doing it. They're not, that's not like that was a way easier thing, was it? Like that, like doing all that still, there's still lots of complexity. Trudy, what a brilliant example. When you were talking about actually going out there and, and doing your art, you're like, well, yeah, I just did it. I get the materials. I just go. It's so amazing. I love watching come to fruition. And as you were in that, it was done. And it's actually painting, doing artwork far harder than asking someone to buy something like <laughs> Jesus, like from my perspective but i'm 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 again i'm not trying to doubt. if you're in a structure where you make it personal if you're in a structure where you make it personal you will you will find yourself fighting for 25 years but when you get into the end result and you know you do the work that we do you do the five steps because you all did the five steps i want to go create uh i want to go camping uh, how would that feel and sound and look? Where am I now? What action should I take? That's what you all did. Did you watch Trudy? Uh, I'm going to create art. Well, what do I need to get? I, uh, I don't have the art. I need to get supplies. I need to get this. I need to design the end result. I need to go. All artists know the creative process. You, you know, artists, I'm so glad that we picked that Trudy, you jumped on. I'm glad for everyone, but, but especially having an artist like that, it's fantastic. And same with you, Dean. And, and what a brilliant... Uh, brilliant uh, group uh, really really proud so i'll give you all a moment to share any last thoughts so stephanie anything that uh, you'd like to leave the group with how was it for you to see the difference between the two uh what landed honestly thank you for choosing me because i actually was struggling with um because i've been doing a lot of the um, the videos in the mastermind and i was i'm really struggling with the resistances like a lot and I was having a difficult time shifting. So this entire process actually helped me understand what that feels like. And it's actually a lot more simple than I thought. For some reason, I just believed it was a lot more complicated than it actually is, but it's really truly going into something you love. Like it's that easy. And I, it, I just needed to experience it. So I really, really thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being a great example. Trudy, is there anything you would like to leave the audience in the group with? You had such a such a beautiful shift. 
Um, yeah, I'd like to, to thank you and the team. Um, I came in on um, the scholarship. Um, so I was just thrilled because I couldn't afford the full course. Had to beg Dad for the money. So thank you for letting me be here. And then, yeah, as I said, I'm three weeks in and to have this much of a shift today, um, I feel amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you all. Love you back. And, uh, and just, uh, you know, your life is art. Your life is art. Just use that same creative process. It's, you know, you, you start with a blank canvas and choose to have successful marketing and then get the paint brushes and the, the supplies together or whatever it is. And then you put it together. It's nothing to do with a, a person's ability, you know, um, perfect, really. And then, you know, what it does, you know, you do obviously get more skilled, but you can also, great thing about business is some of those inputs can be other people. <laughs> Actually, so it's actually way easier. Uh, Dino, uh, obviously, you've got a lot to share as always. So the floor is yours, my friend. There's 400 people. What did you learn from that? I'll just pop Stephanie and Trudy back <clears throat> to the audience. As we know, that success isn't personal, it's structural, first and foremost. But I've even just got the name of the book in my head now. What's the name? Suffering Obligations of Love. Good name. Um, and all the words that keep are flowing in my mind now to what to write in the book. It's just, and what you've taught me I'm passing on to others. Every single person I work with is having profound shifts in their life. And that's interesting because this morning um, I received this in the mail and it's my spirit plate. And my spirit's soaring at the moment. because I know I've been given these gifts for a reason. And the reason is to inspire just countless people each and every day and each and every way more and more. And I just thank God that Julie introduced me to you because when I decided to take back the power within myself at the beginning of last year, you know, I've lost 78 kilos. We don't take pain medication anymore. I used to be taking over 20 painkillers a day. I used to take and carry endone and like a pop them like lollies. I changed what I eat, what I drink, how I think. My mind is clear as crystal. My focus is on where I'm going, not where I've been. I'm grateful of all the people that I've been. Love it, man. I know where I'm going. I've got a, I'm really focused on end, every end result that I've got in my mind, creating more and more end results, pulling me further forward all the time. Mm. And creating that structural tension is so important. And having focus on it all the time, like I, I on the desk, is this all the time? <laughs> And, and it's just, I just can't um, express enough that when people really focus on what they want out of life, everything just else falls away. Wow, well, man. Yes, you know, we do have, we do have those moments where we peel that proverbial onion away. Yeah. And it's always going to be another liar. But it's just yeah. fucking magic. It really <laughs> That's is. it, man. I mean, your magic, bro. Your bloody magic. You know, so so proud of you, and uh, and you changed my life as well. So, I uh, love you, man. I I'm just uh, looking at the time. So, is there a, is there a last sentence or comments you'd like to leave uh, with the group, and and then we'll we'll wrap it all up, brother. Be, do, and create anything you want in your life. Live life without limitations. 
when you think of the word intuition, take the word trust away from it and just follow your intuition. Just follow. Nice. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it and grateful to see you back uh, at an event. Uh, and, uh, you know, oh, yeah. I just want to say uh, being able to use your story of regaining your eyesight has helped this work reach thousands. And so you're a complete, um, you're a complete inspiration, mate. So you don't even actually have to do anything to be an inspiration because you're all throughout the book and everything else. And so I'm, I'm so grateful. So no. have, let's have a great weekend, man. Good to have you here. And let yeah, me, I'm just uh, here let to me... inspire and then support everybody. Yeah. Let me, so thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Let me pop you back into the audience. So, um, we can, we can get this show moving. Okay. So, uh, how was that? How was that, everybody? Um, did you all see the shift and the difference between structure? Has it landed? Yes or yes? Has it landed what this crazy young redheaded dude has been trying to tell you about this word structure? And that if you don't, if you make it personal, you'll stay stuck. If you understand where your focus is, it's easy and flowing. You see, easy and flowing, gardening, painting, meditations were easy and flowing. But when they got themselves stuck, it was all about them and how they're not good at this and da, 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 all these things. Do you see, do you see the difference? Hey, you see the difference. That's what I wanted you all to get today. 